back. It looks like he gained five extra yards. They got the playoff, Gus. Fields looking for the deep ball. Touchdown, Ohio State. Gary Wilson. Justin Fields put that one on the money. and Fields walks in with a little hop at the end. Touchdown, Ohio State.
kids in the game. Here's Master T. He finds the edge, turns it up. Master T, burst of speed. Master T, touchdown. Ohio State. Making sure he doesn't play outside the park. Hands on the roll out. Flips one down the sideline. Garrett Wilson at the goal line and in for a touchdown. It's a pick six right in the end zone for Garrett. What a great play by Garrett. Now listen, defensive lineman, you can't get home. Get your hands up, mirror the hand of the quarterback. When his arm starts to throw, get your left hand up, pop. And look how high that ball goes, and then the awareness to track it. Big fella. here on SportsCenter, not the news that Ohio State wanted. Michigan has canceled its game against Ohio State this Saturday due to positive COVID-19 cases and student athletes in quarantine in the Wolverines program. Michigan saying in a statement it will continue daily testing with hopes of getting back on the practice field when cleared by medical professionals. Please welcome.
welcome Ohio State. My college football Hall of Famer Pat Fitzgerald, please welcome the Northwestern Wildcats. Presented by AT&T 5G at number one, I believe we're going to see Alabama every even numbered year of the playoff. Alabama has started at number one. They have not won the national championship in any of those years when they've started Interesting. with the number one seed. Good nugget right out of the gate. Right? Yeah, yeah. Full morsel. At number two, Alabama's won it twice. And who is number two? <laughs> yes, we know. The Clemson Tigers, they've also won it a couple of times. Finished runner-up last year, losing in the national championship game to LSU. So there is no number three. Drama. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Wow. <laughs> Ohio State. And the big number that you see, 11, 10, 6. But it didn't hurt the Buckeyes. So the Buckeyes are in at one, two, three. And for the second straight year, Clemson and Ohio State in a That's semifinal. Right. And the way what that, game, the way that game ended last year, some yeah. controversy. There's going to be some hype and buildup of, of obvious that aspect of it. For who's in. At number four. Drama building, <laughs> drum roll, Notre Dame. Yep. And that's what we expect. We pretty much yeah, nailed that. That's what we all expect. Well, Alabama and sense. Notre Dame will play in a national semifinal. They met uh, prior to the playoff era for the national championship at the end of the 2012 season. And part of the performance is... Three, 29, 
23. If this team wins a different result, we gotta work a little bit harder. Yeah. This isn't about recovery, revenge, or even redemption. It's about rewriting the story. The story of a brotherhood that has fought through more than you will ever know. I'm looking at some dudes man that low. We've been through a lot together. We've been through this race. The finish line is right there. You can do something amazing. Last time wasn't the end. It was just the start of the sequel. Tonight on point, very similar to what he did a year ago, the ability to create. My guys taking the field as about touchdown underdogs. They do get Crystal Lobby, field security blanket back, but Master Teague, the running back, not available. He suffered a concussion against Northwestern. My guys in their hype video said, we know you think we don't belong. We know you don't give us a chance. Aiming straight at their skeptics, Dabo Sweeney included. 3,000 souls in the Superdome, far from the pandemonium. Over the defender, you're right. Now he's got the ball again, running left, serving in the clear, foot race, touchdown, Ohio State. Buckeyes answer quickly, and Servant still has the hot hand. How about the Middle. What a freshman season he's had. Here they come. Oh, dropped out. Third and 13. Fields does have time. And now takes off. Makes a cut. Takes a hard hit by Skalski who knocks him down. Two yards short and Fields is still down. Uh, he took that shot he right on in like the rig. Getting drink water. He wasn't going to be out very long. Now he's showing some toughness there. I, I, I bet he's not pain-free at the moment, but he's not going to let that stop him. This is crucial now as the Buckeyes try to stretch the seven-point lead. Fields on the run, launches for the end zone, coming back, caught for a touchdown by Olave! And the Buckeyes stretch the lead, and Fields kind of limping to the sidelines, still not right, but delivered a strike. Uh, you, you talk about guts. Justin Fields.
Sherman back in on second and ten. Four-man rush. Fields has time. Launches downfield. It's Olave. He's got a touchdown. Ohio State. A deep strike, and the Buckeyes stretch the lead again. 56 yards. Wow. Fourth down here, final flicker of hope for Lawrence and the Tigers. Throws off the back foot to the end zone, and it's intercepted on the carom. It's seven banks. And Banks just weaves his way down the sidelines, still running, and ducks down, and let the celebration officially begin on the Ohio State sideline. The Scarlet and Gray Faithful here in the Dome, and all throughout the Buckeye Nation and their fans around the world, this is a sweet one and a night to remember for Ohio State. Redemption, revenge. The Sugar Bowl Trophy, the All-State Sugar Bowl Trophy, is the president of the Sugar Bowl, Mr. Ralph Capitelli. Ralph. Thank you. On behalf of the All-State Sugar Bowl and the college football playoff, congratulations to both of these outstanding teams, not just for their great effort tonight, but for throughout the season. And now, on behalf of the college football playoff semifinal at the All-State Sugar Bowl, I am pleased to present the All-State Sugar Bowl trophy to coach Ryan Day and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Hey Ryan, that thing is really heavy. Hey, that thing is heavy, Ryan. If we can get it. <laughs> it's gonna take Justin Fields and Tough Borland to help him out. A celebration in scarlet and gray. Ryan, if I can get you to a microphone. As we sit in the scarlet and gray confetti, 
You told us this morning on College Game Day this team had not played its best game yet. How would you describe what they just did against Clemson out here tonight? Well, first off, you know, want to give respect to Clemson. They, they have a great team, and they're, they're a championship team. So to come out here and play the way we did against them was huge. But I think today what it did was it showed our character. It showed the character of this team. They've been through so much this year. I mean, the journey that we've been on to get to right here, we didn't know how many games we'd play, but we knew we had to play our best tonight, and I think we did. When you think back to the period of time when you weren't sure if this team was going to have this opportunity, and now here it is, you're going to the national championship game. What's the significance of that? Oh, it's just, again, however many games, so many people doubted us going into this game. And these guys stuck together. They wanted a chance to come back and play. And who would have imagined the journey would have come all the way to right here to play Clemson again in the same game? And to come back and play the way we did, now we got an opportunity to go win the whole thing and maybe write one of the best stories ever in college football history. And the last time that you took home the All-State Sugar Bowl Trophy, Ohio State did win the national championship. Ryan, congratulations on the performance tonight. Thank you. Thank you. We had some great performances by Ryan Day's players as well. I think this is no big surprise. Let's start with the offensive MVP of the Sugar Bowl, Justin Fields. Justin, pick up your trophy there, Justin. It's close to you. That's it. That's the one. Justin, when you, when you look at the last play from the Clemson game last year and how that drove you, what impact did that have on your preparation and your performance tonight? Yeah, I mean, after that loss last year, I, I think it fueled our whole team in the offseason workouts throughout practice, you know, fall camp. So I'm just proud of my brothers and, and proud, proud we got the dub. How difficult was it for you to stay in the game, keep playing after that huge shot you took? Yeah, I took a big shot in the uh, first or second quarter, but um, what, what really kept me going was, was my brothers and the uh, love for them. I mean, I do, anything, they, I, I do anything for these guys, and I just love them. Just love them. You guys have talked about rewriting the ending. Six touchdown passes tonight, yeah. but yet still another chapter to be written. Yeah. How do you envision the last chapter, the final ending, being rewritten? I don't know how it's going to end, but I do know one thing, that we're going to go out there and play our butts off, play our hardest. So, yeah. Justin, congratulations. Just a remarkable performance. Thank one you. of the best in Sugar Bowl history. One of the best in the storied history of Ohio State. Now look, the offense was spectacular, but so too was the defense and really limiting Clemson, harassing Trevor Lawrence. And the defensive MVP of the game is Tough Moreland. Tough, pick up your trophy over here too. We got, got hardware. Tough, what, what was the significance of holding Clemson, shutting them down in the running game, about two yards per carry tonight? Yeah, um, give Clemson all the credit. Um, they're a great team, great players. Um, and we knew we were going to have our work cut out for us. Um, you know, credit our guys. Uh, defensive line to the back end, everyone played um, their butts off, and uh, it was a full team effort. We've talked about this a lot over the course of the season. How would you describe the journey, the path of not knowing if there was going to be a season to now headed to the national championship game? Yeah, um, ups and downs, a roller coaster of a year, so much adversity. Um, but, you know, these guys have always, you know, stayed with it. I'm just so, so proud to be a part of this team. I'm so blessed, and um, I'm excited for the opportunity to keep, compete for the national championship. What a remarkable performance it was. Tough Justin, Ryan, everybody associated with Ohio State. Congratulations on just a remarkable performance. We also want to thank everybody from Allstate. We want to thank people from the city of New Orleans, Mercedes-Benz Superdome, all of the organizers and volunteers it takes to put on an event like this. Thank all of you for supporting the college football playoff and the Allstate Sugar Bowl. Chris, we'll kick it back to you now. Now, Reese, thank you. The story of every team in this craziest of seasons involved adversity. Ohio State had its own particular kind, and they answered the critics and the skeptics tonight in a resounding fashion. Losing the championship game hurt a lot, but I'm still damn proud of this team, especially with everything they had to go through this year and what they sacrificed to get to this point. They got their fourth straight championship in the Big Ten Conference. They made it to the college football playoffs for a second year in a row. They ended the Clemson curse, winning the Sugar Bowl against them, and made it to the national championship game. 
And make no mistake about this. If I had the choice between you and the Alabama Crimson Tide players, I pick every single one of you in a heartbeat every day of the week. You guys had an amazing year this season. And hopefully we'll get to see you again next season, this time in person. Congratulations on an amazing year. Go Bucks!